Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. The topic which I am going to discuss today is related to the total water supply demand calculation for a building. If you remember uh, about one month ago, I made a video related to hot water and cold water pipe sizing. In that video, I did not explain how you can calculate the water supply demand. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can do that by using a water supply fixture unit method that is WSFU and by using international plumbing code IPC and UPC that is uniform plumbing code but before proceeding towards the calculation uh, I want to tell you one more thing in my next video I am gonna discuss about the water distribution pipe sizing with one more complicated example as you can see that we have uh, risers in here also in the previous example for water supply and hot water and cold water pipe sizing it was not complicated so in my next video I'm gonna use this complicated example uh, you can see the risers are also included in here so you will learn more in this video and uh, we're gonna do the pipe sizing for the main service lines and we are gonna do for water supply distribution piping and we're gonna go for risers also so let's move back to our main topic so let's say uh, we have an office building and uh, we have a number of fixtures are described in here like water closet we have flush type and 60 water closets are in there and urinals we have a wall hung type and a flush valve type is used in there so 12 urinals and uh, lavatory we have 40 so it depends on number of fixtures which you have in your drawing you have to write the total number of fixtures in here so second thing you have to since we are using water supply fixture unit method so we have to write the fixture unit value associated with each fixture so here are the tables and charts which I'm gonna use so first fixture is water closet and number of fixtures are 60 so there is no hot water required for this one so we'll go for cold water fixture units and total water fixture units so if you see over here and the occupancy is also matter since this is an office building so we're gonna select this public space instead of this private space and type of supply we know that this is a flush valve instead of flush tank so water closet public type flush valve you see the cold water fixed unit required are 10 and total water supply fixture units are also 10 so move back here to our excel sheet and write cold water fixture units are 10 and combined water supply fixture units are also 10 so since we know that one fixture unit requires 10 so 60 fixture unit you need to multiply 16 to 10 that is 600 again same thing 60 fixture units in here and combined water supply fixture unit value is 10 so 600 is the total water supply fixture unit and urinals we have 12 this is a wall hung flush valve type move back to our chart and tables so here we, you can find stall or wall urinals and stall or wall urinals one with the flush valve another with the flush tank so since we have used the flush valve type so we are going to use this value so cold water required is five fixture units and total is also five so same way we have to write cold five and total is also five again you need to multiply this number of fixture with uh, cold water fixture unit to get the total water supply fixture unit here for cold water and total water supply fixture units are also five by twelve that is sixty and the last uh, fixture we have here is the lavatory and uh, lavatory required both hot and cold water so move back to our tables and charts and find the lavatory in here and you can see that this lavatory is private and we are looking for public so you can see that this is lavatory since we have an office building that's why i'm going to use public occupancy so lavatory public faucet type you can see the hot water fixture unit is 1.5 cold is also 1.5 and total fixture unit required are 2 so hot and cold are 1.5 and total are 2 
so we can write uh, hot water fixture units of 1.5 and cold water is also 1.5 and total 2 so simply you need to multiply this fixture unit with number of fixtures this fixture unit with number of fixtures and this fixture unit with number of fixtures to get this total cold water fixture unit total water supply fixture units and total hot water fixture units so this is the demand which we calculated here is the intermittent demand that is a non-continuous demand it's not used all the times its frequency of use is different it's not used as, used as continuous demand this is a non-continuous demand we need to add the continuous demand to the non-continuous demand if continuous demand is available but before that we need to convert our fixture unit values into the GPM so since we know that total hot water fixture unit is 60 so we have write 60 in here and total cold water fixture unit it is a sum of these three that is 720 fixture units and combined water supply fixture unit we have in here is 740 fixture units that is the sum of this one now we have to convert this fixture unit value into GPM so we are gonna use the table in here so this is the table you can use this chart as well as this table to convert this uh, fixture unit to equivalent GPM so first is a hot water that is 60 fixture units so hot water 60 fixture units for the laboratory so we are going to use this uh, there we have two columns flush tanks and flush valves so we have 60 fixture unit for flush tank it's 32 gpm 60 fixture unit is 32 gpm so we're going to write 32 gpm in here and then we have to get the value for cold water fixture unit and combine fixture units value also so total water supply fixture unit are 720 in here so we have to go back but cold water if you see that we have a flush valve type for this one so we are going to use flush valve column in here whatever the valve you are using in there you have to follow that column so 720 720 fixture units so we don't have 720 we have uh, 50750 so if you go for the second column this is flush valve so we have 720 so i'm gonna write approximate value in here that is 100 let's say we are gonna write 174 value in in between them and we check for total water supply fixture unit value or combined water supply fixture unit is 740 so 740 if you go in there and let's say approximate value we will get 5 between 500 and 750 is fix let's say we get the GPM of 177 GPM you can do interpolation to get the exact value so right now I'm just writing the approximate value that is 177 GPM so this is our intermittent demand which we calculated in here so now we have to add this demand with the continuous demand if you have any continuous demand you have to add this with intermittent demand so let's say we have uh, two hose pipes there and uh, we have to go back to our tables and chart to get the fixture unit value for this hose pipe so as you can see that demand at individual fixtures and required pressure if you see this one is the flow rate gpm this is the fixture and this is the pressure so this is the hose pipe as you can see over here and the GPM required is 5 GPM so we have uh, 5 GPM required in here so two hose pipes it will be 10 GPM and the second continuous demand is air conditioning makeup water 
so this value you have to get from the HVAC design engineer so how much is the required uh, GPM for the air conditioning water makeup so let's say we get this value 30 GPM so we just need to add these two values to get the total continuous demand so TCD is the total continuous demand that is 10 plus 30 equal to 40 GPM and then you can see that hot water demand here hot water demand we already calculated that is 32 gpm in here and the cold water demand you need to add this continuous demand also in the cold water demand because this water supplied here for the continuous demand is also normal old cold water there is no hot water required in here that's why we did not add any continuous demand to our hot water demand it's simply 32 GPM but for cold water demand we need to add this continuous demand also because this also required normal or cold water hose bibs and air conditioning water makeup equipment so total cold water demand will be that is cold water demand we calculated here 174 for intermediate demand and continuous is 40 so 174 plus 40 equal to 214 GPM and total water demand required here is 217 that is 177 is the total water demand here plus continuous demand that is 40 so total water demand required is 217 GPM so reason why we have calculated uh, hot water demand cold water demand and total water demand because if you move back to over this example which we are going to discuss in the next video so here if you see this is our service main so we are gonna this service main pipe sizing based on our total water demand required so we have to do sizing based on total uh, water su supply demand required that is this value so if you go from here from, this is our pump that is a booster pump this is a suction and this is the discharge so from service main to the point of connection to the this is our hot water heater from service main to the point of connection to the hot water heater we have to do the sizing of this uh, water supply piping based on this GPM this is just an example to show you that that's why we have calculated this uh, total water supply demand but after that you have this hot water piping in here so you have to do this hot water piping based on this hot water demand because here you have hot water supply this is hot water supply and then this is your cold water supply after this point of connection you have this cold water supply so you have to do the sizing of this cold water supply piping based on this cold water demand that's why we have calculated this hot water demand cold water demand and total water demand so i hope you guys learned something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you